sampleboardwork.com and we're just gonna go through um, what the Titan 4 beta is all about. First of all, Titan 4 is released by a company, or should I say is created by a company called Respawn Entertainment, which is a company that was built by the original uh, creators of the Call of Duty franchise. So, uh, or should I say, of the call of the initial Call of Duty um, that we all um, loved uh, from prior console onto this console. Now, if you remember the story with uh, they had out, they had a fallout with Activision and has since gone over to create subsequent games and uh, companies. And this is just the latest in a line of uh, great ideas we've had since. Now, Titanfall is um, you know the, the most anticipated game we've created so far. And we're just gonna go through this beta and um, just have a quick view of exactly um, you know what to expect in Titan Titan 4. Now I'm gonna start with the pilot loadouts. The pilot loadouts come in three basic classes: rifleman, assassin, and a CQB. The rifleman is a regular gun. He carries a carbine, has basically a rocket launcher as an anti-titan weapon, and his sidearm is a Hammond P2011, which is basically like a Glock 9 mm like 9 mm so we're gonna go with the assassin next. Assassin next is the, basically your standard shadow operator, right? You have a uh, smart pistol MK5, so this gives you an auto lock on your targets when, when you get into a, a close quarters kind of environment. So you have to be really, you know, close to your enemy in order to get that lock on them. Um, <clears throat> the anti-Titan weapon being a sidewinder, rapid fire, micro missiles, and um, the sidearm being an RE45 auto pistol. So that's a 45 caliber full automatic pistol. All right, the CQB is, this is your tank. This is the guy who goes in there with a shotgun and basically runs and guns. Now, he um, anti-tightened weapon is a sidewinder. Uh, the sidearm is also a P2011, um, or should I say P2011, P2011. Uh, Hammond, uh, which is like like I said before, a modified Glock. Um, tactical ability has cloak, ordnance is a frag grenade. The kit is an enhanced parkour kit, which basically allows extended wall runs and wall hangs, and um, dome shield battery for its Titan. Now, over the assassin, let's see what the uh, tactical ability is here. That's the cloak, more effective against Titans. Should have been most effective against Titans. Ordnance is a frag grenade uh, kit. Your pilot tactical ability recharges faster. That's a power cell. So basically, your tactical ability, which is your cloak, can be extended or charges faster. You can use it, use it more often. Like I said, this is a shadow operator. Now, convenient detector uh, would build all grunts and specters on the map all the time. So be careful. This shadow operator goes hunting. Now the rifleman's tactical ability is going to be the cloak most effective against Titan, as we've seen. Frag grenade, which is, seems to be standard for all the builds right now. The kit, explosive pack, carry extra pilot ordnance, which is pretty cool. Um, dome shield uh, battery for your Titan, uh, for your Titan. So that's pretty cool. Um, Titan loadouts. Right now we have only an Atlas. Oh, oh, the only Titan we have available now is the Atlas class Titan. Now. Assault gives you X016 chain gun, so that's a rapid fire gun. Um, tactical ability is a vortex shield where you can absorb uh, incoming projectiles and fire them back. Uh, your ordnance is a rocket salvo, so basically that's your secondary uh, weapon. Apart from your uh, X016, you have uh, shoulder firing oh, sorry, shoulder, shoulder firing rockets that uh, allow you to uh, you know, add an extra level of, uh, you know, explosions or Michael Bay level explosions to your um, to your arsenal. Now the kit is a region booster, your Titan body shield regenerates faster and you have the auto eject which is pretty cool so you don't have to keep hitting X um, all the time to um, get out of your dying Titan. Now moving on to the tank. The tank has a 40 millimeter cannon, semi-auto 40 millimeter. Oh wow, HD rounds. So Tactical ability, vortex shield, absorbs and returns incoming fire. Ordnance again is a rocket salvo. The kit, nuclear ejection. Your Titan goes nuclear when you eject. Nice. Okay, you also have uh, the kit survivor. Your Titan degrades slower when doomed, which is pretty cool. Um, 
artillery. Now, artillery is the quad rocket. It's five, four rockets per volley. So it's all about just, you know, heavy duty. Now, tactical, uh, tactical abilities of Vortex Shield, ordinance to get into a rocket salvo, the kit is a regen booster, and it's a, uh, a survivor kit. So that's um, pretty similar to what we saw for the tank. Now, let's um, get out of here. All right. See the options in here. We have controller settings, automatic sprint, master volume, subtitles. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Um, we can go to the training, which I already did. Um, we can go to pilot training, Titan training only. But let's just jump right into the game. We're going to jump right into the game and we're going to go with attrition. Attrition being your standard, um, you know, team deathmatch kind of setup in that you basically go out there, two teams start, whoever gets the most kills will win uh, within a certain time period. Now, hard point. Hard point is a capture the flag kind of uh, situation. You run into three separate locations. You basically kill all the uh, unfriendlies in that location, or you can lock down that location. And once you lock it down, you can move on to the next location and lock it down. Or you can split up and lock down several locations at the same time. So more points, you get more points for locking down more. Um, you, you get more points for locking down more locations um, than the uh, opposing team. Last Titan Standing, which is actually a different one, we didn't have this in the Alpha. Um, Last Titan Standing basically gives you a Titan versus Titan match, and uh, there's no respawning, so the last Titan Standing wins. B beta Variety Pack, throw it all together, you have like a war zone kind of situation, you don't know what's going to come next, what each game session is going to give you. Pretty good idea, I think um, I'll probably be a big fan of the Beta Variety Pack going forward, but let's just give you something you're used to, which is Attrition, which is your um, Handed team debt match setup. All right, connecting. Let's do this. All right, we're searching for other players, finding teammates, zero results. Nobody wants to play with me. Why not? I wonder. Uh, so, here we are. That's one of my kill records. Look at that. Kill records, uh, overview, so most kills, you can look at the, exactly which weapons you've had the most kills with. Alright, most used, most efficient, there we go. So I basically stuck to one weapon, then again my kill record, at my time, so time by class, pilots, Titan, I haven't really done a lot of Titan work, have I? Um, 36 minutes played. Zero minutes in the air, zero minutes wall running, zero minutes wall running. Interesting. Uh, distance, there we go. You can look at how much distance you've covered. Pilot weapons, this is the stat of all the pilot weapons. So, this is the 01, 101C carbine, which is what I've used in most of. I haven't used the shotgun, neither have I really used the smart pistol. Sniper rifle, rockets, not quite. Uh, that one. Interesting. Okay, art grenade, which is pretty cool. It's more like EMP kind of thing. Um, it really is very effective against Titan. Uh, Titan weapons. Uh, wow, look at that. Nice. Alright, so, we're about to start this match. Let's get this going. Years of aggressive fuel extraction have taken their toll on the former colony for the privileged. Heads up, Titan falls into the battle will kill any enemy combatants they land on. It would be nice, and it's very interesting, you should uh, pay attention to that, because I was just walking across someone else's Titanfall, and boom, got hit. Alright, throwing my rifle in, pull back to my rifle. Alright boss, this is a battle of attrition. Eliminate all enemy forces.
Titan drop. And then, I'll show you what a Titan drop for a Titan drop looks like.
Call it when ready. Guys, we lost. Fall back to base. We've lost the sector C IMC. I'm sending in the drop kit. Check your HUD and get to the nearest evac point. All right, so we lost. Now we have to evacuate. Air evac point over here. You can basically be a player who just, you know, focuses on taking out Titans without actually having a Titan. So you're basically focused on being on roofs, jumping on Titans, taking out your engines, and jumping off to the next battle. Now, or you can focus on just being, hey, the guy who, you know, waits around, does a little, um, you know, shadow, uh, <laughs> a, a, a few uh, shadow takedowns. You know, you, you hide in the shadows, take a couple of people down, get your Titans in, jump in the Titan, and just play a Titan game. Or, yeah, once you get your first Titan, you, you can keep the Titan as long as you want, as long as you don't get, you know, killed. You can play it that way as well. So there is quite a lot of ways to play it. You can just play it as a simple ground war, where you're just taking out other pilots, grunts, and specters without even looking at the Titan, avoiding Titans in general. It's really up to you how you decide to play your particular part. Um, this is a really interesting game. You really, you really haven't seen anything like this um, on the console space um, really ever so it's really you know I'm quite interested to see how this translates um, to an actual release game so far we have you know maybe two or three different maps we're playing um, we're playing two different mainly two different modes and um, you know it's really difficult to get an idea or a good feel of how this all translates uh, into an actual game the snippets we get quite interesting quite time consuming or quite engaging but um you know, it'll be interesting to see the overall game especially the first um especially the uh, the mission uh, actually lives up to um <laughs> to expectations but from what i've seen so far it looks as though it really will live to expectations so once again this is nisan from borderworks.com enjoy your entertainment